Good morning, beautiful people. Thank you for popping in to see what's happening down on the farm. Bibi's feeling better today. I haven't slept all night, but I'm feeling better. So it means I've got to start cleaning because you know what boys are like? Yeah, they're pigs. They don't know how to clean. <laughs> so the whole time I've been sick, I've been looking at stuff going, ah, I've got to clean all this because the boys can't see it. So, to clean it, I need to make some of my natural all-purpose spray. Because you know what I'm like with all my um, herbs and essential oils and all that kind of stuff. So this is a natural spray I use. Pretty simple to make. Um, it does use borax in it, which is a natural mineral. It is very safe in low doses. Just make sure you keep it away from kids and pets so i'm only making a little one today so we're probably doing about 250 ml spray so we need just half a teaspoon in there then we need everything out of the way um, need some distilled white vinegar this one I'm just doing one tablespoon because I've half the recipe because I've only got a little bottle spare but well a little bit more but vinegar don't hurt does it cleans lots of nice things so that's your vinegar and then we need yeah, I've always got a, like, have a look at the recipe a few times before I forget. We're just doing a quarter teaspoon of some dish soap. Um, you can use any, if you want it really natural, get yourself a, a natural dish soap. Let's get some of that off with a little bit more water. So I've actually put a little bit of water in the bottom already, just so that things can start getting a little bit mixed up down there. And then I use two essential oils in this um, tea tree, which is a nice antiseptic. And so is rosemary and you get some nice smells. Now remember when you buy essential oils, Get the good ones don't just buy the cheap aroma oils you know in the two dollar shops and stuff because they don't work and they're not very antiseptic etc so what do I need five drops of rosemary and your house is gonna smell really nice after you've used it as you can see with my oils I hope you can uh, put it down a bit um, the longer the oils take to come out of the bottle, the better quality the oils are that you're using. Because the good quality oils are really thick. I lost count, I put one more in. And I only have good quality ones in my stash. And then we do 10 drops of the tea tree if I can get the lid off. Go on. This one doesn't even want to come out. Come on. Oh yeah, it's coming out now. You just can't see it. I've got to shake these <laughs> the tea tree out. That's how good the tea tree is. So I got about 10 in there. And then all you have to do is top your bottle up with water. You can't even see where the, oh yeah, I can, I can see where the line is now. So this is for about, I don't know, 300 ml bottle. Just top that all up with water, make sure all your oils have gone through. I always use a funnel, because if I'm standing there trying to put oils in, that's not going to happen. So then, you just give it a good shaky shake. Of 
else I've forgotten my microfiber cloth. Then all you have to do, spray it on and wipe it off. And everything's nice and clean and shiny. So that's what I've got to do today. Clean everything up. So there you go, guys. I shall stick the uh, recipe in the description for you for this natural cleaner. And hope you like it as much as I do. So I will catch you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, ring that bell. And remember, we've got play playlists on everything. So we'll see you on the next one. Catch ya.